Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Carter's Weather Reports. So today we're going to get right down to business to the storm that we've been seeing. I've been looking at this, and it is coming tomorrow at 3 p.m. So let's talk about the movement of this storm. The movement of this storm is a little bit off. It seems to grow when it's in our area, and it seems to continuously get stronger, yet it is somewhat prolonged in the Minnesota and Valley City, Fargo, Jamestown area, and uh, 15 miles north of that I-94 area, and about 10 miles south of that area. So just kind of be aware that's kind of where it's going to be icky. And so as we see that storm move through, uh, a lot of models disagreeing on this, but really it's expected to bring some measurable amounts of snow and uh, strong winds. It is not a bomb cyclone, thankfully, and uh, it doesn't seem to be too bad like the storm that we got a few days, uh, about a week ago, I'd say. But um, <clears throat> this storm is going to be very icky, so we're going to give you some details. Uh, the snow total we're expecting to be uh, two to six inches in the Valley City area, like we talked about, 15 miles north, 10 miles south of that I-94 area. And then we're also expecting isolated, very isolated, this means very small areas, could see four to eight inches of snow, or well, maximum of eight inches of snow, I'd say. But I, I don't think anybody could really get above that just because of how scattered this storm could be. You could consider it a scattered snowstorm, almost like scattered thunderstorms, except it's one big storm just kind of moved everywhere. And uh, I just wanted to let you know that this storm can definitely change things have been changing even though it is quite literally a day away think the models are very disagreeing on this i've tried my best to track it and tried my best to get a good estimate but i'm going to be honest this is most likely to change so please be aware of that and please understand that that is very possible uh the wind could gust of up to or over 45 miles per hour as well as just normal wind 35 miles per hour which is very very bad and it's it's, it's not good it's going to drift that snow and six inches, I mind you, that is a lot of snow. It, it may not be a foot, but it is a lot of snow. And when it drifts, it gets icky. Road closures, most likely. No travel advisory, most like, excuse me, most likely. Interstate closures, possible. Uh, school closings, that could be likely in the Fargo area. Uh, school delay is probably likely for a lot of North Dakota under the winter storm watch, which we are in right now. And then winter weather advisories in the western parts of North Dakota, I wouldn't really expect them to be closing or delaying or anything like that. And uh, yeah, road conditions a little bit icky, but other than that, there's not much more I can say. So please be prepared for the storm and just be prepared for some horrible road conditions once again. And uh, get your shovels and snowblowers ready. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.